when plotting a short trip back to nature, fly fishermen up and down the Assabet River that flows from Westboro to Concord often start here at the Acton Canoe Launch just off Route 62. I started fly fishing when my dad gave me my first rod when I was 10. No need for that rod today because Andy Bonzani, now 60, isn't pulling fish out of the river, he's putting them in. It's part of a grassroots fish stocking program organized through Bonzani's fly fishing store, Concord Outfitters. We've been stocking the Assabet River for about 12 years now. So we put about 1,000 fish in there a year so we could get kids into fishing, fly fishing, and catching a trout, which is unique in the Metro Boston area. The program provides reliable fishing opportunities around the Assabet, enough to hook local anglers like Ethan Bork. It's a really fun program and something I took advantage of quite a bit when I was younger. People think about fly fishing and they think about an older retired guy spending his days on the water, but there's a new generation, a younger generation coming up. Yeah, absolutely. We'd be surprised at the number of kids my age and younger who are just getting into the sport. So what you love about this? Spending time out in nature. You never see the same thing twice. You get to visit really beautiful areas. I would have never really gone to it had it not been for fly fishing. I've gotten to spend time out in the Rocky Mountains, Yellowstone National Park, Montana, Idaho. To gear up for these adventures, Ethan doesn't even need to leave the office since he works for Andy Banzani here at Concord Outfitters. We're a full service fly shop. We outfit people not only to fish, but then travel to fish. We take groups down to Patagonia, New Zealand, the Bahamas. We've got a trip to Cuba, always looking for places that are off the beaten path. Banzani is also seeing growing interest in fly fishing among women. We see a lot more women over the past five years getting into the sport, which is great to see. Back on the Assabet River, Bork works on his fly casting, perfecting the graceful, iconic movements that help define his sport. It takes a little bit of practice, but you're still trying to consider what the fish are going to eat and how do you imitate that. Like many who find their way back to nature, Bork finds the experience transformative. You get to see weather, you get to see beautiful rivers and, and just untouched land. Generally, everyone fishes catch and release and we work hard and speak up for the waters that we fish. At Scarborough Pond in Franklin Park, Sean Martell of Brockton gets back to nature with a very different kind of fishing. I'm gonna fish over here. I'm gonna do magnet fishing over here. That looks like an awesome spot too. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. I'm ready to magnet fish, brother. Magnet fishing, it's not complicated. This is awesome. You just throw your magnet in and see what comes out of the water. Yeah. I got me a bike. Sean is not alone in feeling the pull of this pastime. Oh, look at that, guys. Woohoo! That is awesome. Magnet fishing kits are available in a wide array of sizes and strengths. The appeal, you never know what you're going to pull up. I did find a sawed-off shotgun. I found a stolen Ducati motorcycle. Wow. When I throw it in the water, and just when I feel that magnetic pull, it's like, wow, I'm on something. Even if it's a bottle cap or anything small, I don't care. I got a fishing hook. Beautiful. We had a good day magnet fishing. <laughs> Sean shares his enthusiasm on his YouTube channel, Brockton Magnet Fisher. Thank you to all of my subscribers on YouTube. He likes the idea that his passion is helping the planet. I'm doing it for fun and I'm helping clean the environment, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Check this out, guys. Woo! And you never know when you're going to hit the jackpot. That is so cool. My first real safe, guys. Today, the safe is empty, but that's almost beside the point. If I can't go that one week, I don't know what to do with myself. Honestly, it's like crazy. I'm like so addicted to magnificent. 
All right, and back to Andrew Bonzani of Concord Outfitters. He says he shares with us what his favorite memory was of an enthusiastic customer that he taught how to fly fish 20 years ago. And now that customer is 92, and his one regret is that he didn't do it it's sooner. Hard, even earlier. That's mm -hmm. great. And, you know, we heard in the piece that more and more women are fly fishing, which is wonderful. Um, and what we heard from one industry group is that among the people who fly fish, the percentage of women has gone from 20% to 30% since 2010, so more and more women coming to the sport. Maybe I need to give it a yeah, shot. Maybe.